Hey, what's up? This is Scott Rosecrans with uh, CG Pro, and today we're going to talk a little bit about how to get the Mocopi mocap suit, suit, the Mocopi mocap system applied to a metahuman in Unreal 5.4. Uh, it's a little bit different, it's a little bit easier in 5.4. You may have seen some tutorials that you were showing you how to set up retargeters and all that stuff for Unreal 5.3. You no longer need to do all of that. It's all included with the uh, Mokopi content, and uh, it's really straightforward. So let's get uh, let's get started. Just a couple of quick caveats. This assumes that you have uh, gone through the process of setting up the Mokopi at least once, gotten it all connected, and been able to transfer the uh, animation onto your Mokopi actor, right? So uh, with that gone, we're also going to show just how quickly uh, it, you can get into this suit and get it set up. And again, I keep using the word suit. There's no suit. It's just a couple of straps and a couple of sensors. And it's amazing how quick and easy and decent the uh, the mocap quality is for, you know, uh, just this affordable little system here. So let's get started, right? Um, so first, we're going to set up our MetaHuman, right? So you know, uh, we have the, we've already installed the plugins and all that stuff, got it all turned on, done all your restarting, right? We're going to find in the Mokopi uh, content folder down here inside of your engine plugins folders. We're going to scroll all the way down until we find the Mokopi stuff here. We have live link content. Now we've got, there's this traditional Mokopi actor, which just kind of works right out the gate. You don't have to really do anything except turn the system on. We've got our Unreal Mannequin, which you can use to um, control the, the mannequin with the Mokopi as well. There's also a MetaHuman folder in here. Uh, notably, there's not like a, you know, a skeleton or anything specific to uh, this, but we're going to use all this, but we don't. We just need to know it's here, right? I, I just we're going to keep an, uh, uh, you know, remember this, the ABP MetaHuman name there, because we'll need that a little bit later. Um, so let's set up our blueprint first and foremost. So I'm going to go to my MetaHumans here. I've got a few of them. I'm going to use the, uh, the zombie here. And we'll just get this guy set up. So we're going to start by duplicating. Of course, we don't want to work on our original actor here. We're going to duplicate that. I think we're duplicating that. There we go. And we'll give that a Mokopi at the end. To differentiate that, let's open her up. And we see that we have your traditional sort of, uh, you know, metahuman setup going on here, right? Underneath the root, we have the body and all of that stuff. So with the root selected, I'm going to add a new uh, skeletal mesh component, right? So we just type in skel, so we get a skeletal mesh component in here. We're going to call this Mokopi Actor, if I can spell. I can't. I'm not going to, uh, oops, come back to you. I'm not going to fix that. It's going to be Actor. All right, uh, the next thing we need to do here is we can collapse this body here. Everything, you know, traditional is parented to the body. We're going to do one more and uh, parent the body to the Mokopi Actor. Um, so there we go there. That is done. And um, in the Mokopi Actor here, we need to assign a skeletal mesh asset. This is going to be our Mokopi skeleton. So we'll just type in MOC, and uh, by the time we get halfway there, Mokopi Mannequin. There you go. So you can see we've got that fun little... Uh, animated design going on there so you can that's how you know you've got the right one uh, and in here we're going to choose under our animation blueprint here we're going to choose the abp mokopi right it's important to differentiate here we've got the mokopi anim blueprint that goes on the mokopi actor now under the body for your uh, metahuman here we're going to take the abp metahuman Right, so we have ABP MetaHuman, and just looking that it's, you know, as I hover here, I can see that it's in the Mokopi Live Link folder. That's the right location. So we're going to use that, and you can see it immediately pops into the T pose and matches. The retargeting is live; it's happening right now, which is awesome. Uh, one last thing we need is a Live Link component, right? So we're going to do Live Link. So there's two options here. You've got Live Link Controller, Live Link Skeletal Animation. What's the difference, right? Well, Live Link Controller is only going to work when you're simulating, right? So you would have to go into play mode for this to kind of work. So I've been tending to use the Live Link Skeletal Animation. So we're just going to drop that in there, leave it alone. I'm not going to do anything to it. We're just going to compile. We're going to save. Okay, and last thing I want to do is I want to get rid of our little, um, our glowing man here. We're going to type in viz and uncheck that visibility for it. And we'll compile and save once more. And now our zombie is good to drag into our scene. And we're going to, you know, we'll, we'll retarget to both of them at the same time. That's fine. I'll pull in more. We can have a party going on in here. So let's, uh, 
start a timer and see how quick it is to get this uh, Mokopi system set up here. I'm just going to open the app here. Here. All right, we're going to click Start Motion Capture. Uh, and it's going to say, you know, just turn on all the sensors. So we're just going to tap, 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 tap all those sensors. Turn those on. We're going to confirm that they are on. And now we're going to connect. So we're just going to, like, give this a moment. I'm going to pause the video. We'll come back. This takes a minute to connect about this should be the longest part of the process. Um, okay, with that connected, we are now ready for the next step, which is to connect all the sensors here. So we'll just run through this really quick. If you click on next, it'll show you a neat little video of uh, how and to connect all these sensors. But it really makes it sense. It's really straightforward, right? This thing says head, goes on the head strap here, and it'll just magnetize, pop into place. You hear that click, you're good to go. All right, we'll take the hip one out next. Put that on the little hip clip. This goes on the back of your hip tailbone there we go got the left wrist goes in one of the wrist straps there right wrist does the same whoop was lost it now i've used and own a multitude of suits we have the rococo suit we have the extend suit all of them have their strong points. All of them have their pain points. The uh, ease and quickness that you can get into this system here, I think, is by far and away one of the best in terms of just take a couple of minutes, get into mocap, bang out some free viz, and then you're on your way to having animation in your scene. That's the fastest. So love that about it. All right, uh, with everything connected, we're gonna do a quick calibration. We just choose our height, and then we stand in end pose and hit this next button. You'll hear a beep, and you'll take one step forward. Take that one step forward. And then we get a good confirmation tone there. All right, last thing to do is we're gonna send the signal now over to LiveLink. So if I click into LiveLink, I've already uh, set this up, and if you add the plugin, Immediately, it's going to show up as a source here. So we're just going to create a new Mokopi source. And if I hit the uh, make sure that we're on send, not save, you'll get this little icon down here. And we'll just send that. It'll take you to the network settings. Double check your IP. Should be good to go. And you can see, boom, the animation right away. So let's spin our dude around here. Same with this fella. And you can see, there we go. It's working. That's like... The job is done. We did the hard part. Actually, none of it was hard, right? MetaHuman, mocap, really simple, really straightforward. No retargeting that has to be done. You just use the components that they provided for you, and you're off to the races. So I can use Take Recorder now. I can record uh, directly to uh, Sequencer and do anything I need to do to like just block out some quick animation. And so this is awesome. I can also record in the app itself. Uh, lots of options, lots of ways for me to get some really decent and quick mocap into my scene. And this makes me happy and excited. Thank you very much, and we'll see you next time.